Greetings everyone and welcome to Intuitive Art Mediums for this 2024 collective tarot reading. Now this is a general tarot reading so please only go with the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest. We do have Mercury stationing direct in Sagittarius on New Year's Day. So let's get into it. I'm going to draw a card from each of these four oracle decks, and then we'll dive in with the tarot. So at the bottom of this deck, we have a solar calm with clarify. So let's see what's going to be clarified for the collective of 2024. We have Leo with Shine. Okay, I think that 2024, something that you're working on, something that you want to create for 2024 is going to shine. And at the bottom of the deck, we have Authority. So I feel like that you're going to shine with Authority, your personal authority is going to shine and I see this as creative because Leo rules the fifth house of creativity so I feel like that's something that you're creating is going to shine because when you do something with your personal authority something that is right for you you are going to shine Okay, let's see how that's going to raise your vibration with this oracle. At the bottom of the deck, we have my light attracts light. How beautiful, because Leo is ruled by the sun, and the sun shines, and your light is going to shine. So let's see how your light is going to raise your vibration for 2024 and we have take the weight of the world off your shoulders okay and then at the bottom of the deck we have raise your vibration is a mantra that calls me to light up to shine by taking the weight off your shoulders the world, you know, there's so many things going on in the world. And I feel like that it's time for you to focus on what's going on in your world. Take the weight of the world off your shoulders and focus on your world, your life. Raise your vibration and let your light shine out into the world. Now let's look at the Super Attractor Oracle. The bottom of it, in stillness I receive. And you are receiving the shine. You are receiving light to guide your way. Okay, Spirit has tossed out this card. The more I attune my energy with appreciation, the more the universe will deliver. And the universe delivered this card, this message. Okay, and then at the bottom of the deck, we have believing in spiritual guidance gives me certainty and the freedom to keep dreaming even when I can't yet see the result. Okay, yeah, raise your vibration attract that appreciation, attune your energy with appreciation, Take, giving yourself this break by taking the weight of the world off your shoulders, lighten your burdens. And when you do that, you're going to appreciate that spiritual guidance. Okay, now let's see what your sacred wealth code is. 
At the bottom of the deck, we have the Magician with Rahu. I am a Master Manifester, Acquisitive, Alternative Intelligence, Conscious, Creative, Magical, Intuitive, Inventive, Alchemic, Technical, Artistic, Dynamic, Psychological, Synthesizing, Eccentric, and Charismatic. I feel like that there is the possibility of magic to occur in each and one of our lives. The artist, I create my vision. Creative, visionary, imaginative, idealistic, connective, harmonious, passionate, receptive, reverent, and spiritual. Okay, I feel like that many of you are going to be creating the world that you want. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have the messenger with Mercury. I bring the light of awareness, Perspe perspective, or I mean perceptive, progressive, intelligent, adaptable, changeable, psychic, versatile, candid, agile, communicative, insightful, and imaginative, curious, and instinctive. And I feel like that through your artistic creations, which we have Venus, you are bringing a message to the world that is going to shine. Your creative endeavors are meant to bring light to the world. Okay, let's go into the tarot. I am using the Radiant Wilds Tarot for this reading. I'll draw a card for each of the months of the year and we will begin with January. And we begin with the King of Swords, Balance. Four of Cups for February. March, we have Knight of Swords. April, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Very nice. May, we have Five of Swords. And June, we have Ace of Swords. July, we have Queen of Pentacles. Very nice. Then we have for August, uh, Judgment. September, Three of Wands. October, Eight of Pentacles. November, Nine of Cups. And December, we have Nine of Wands. Okay, let's take a look at what we have here. Okay, in January with the King of Swords, we're balancing things out. We want things to be fair and equal and balanced. With the Four of Cups, this is kind of feeling tired of the way things have been done and reflecting on how to bring balance back in a new way with new possibilities, which we have with the Knight of Swords, which is an instigator of change. And this is springtime. We have a change of season and that's going to occur quickly. Obstacles are going to fall away quickly. April, we have the Ten of Pentacles, very profitable. Uh, this also has to do with family legacy. Um, May, we have Five of Swords. This could be a power struggle here 
but then by June, we have the Ace of Swords and it actually helps you become more focused. So I feel like with the Five of Swords going into the Ace of Swords, you have choices to make and some things are just kind of vying for your attention. And here's where you're going to take the weight of the world off your shoulders so that you can focus on what it is that you want to do. And in July, we have the Queen of Pentacles. This is resourcefulness. She can create abundance on her own. She's also a big part of her community, getting involved with the community. And with that below the King of Swords, I feel like you want things to be more fair and balanced. And then we have Judgment right here in August. This is a rebirth from the Four of Cups. So we have something new beginning. And then September, we have the Three of Wands. This is also, you know, it's below the Knight of Swords. So here we have the Spring Equinox. Here we have the Autumn Equinox. The Three of Wands is about waiting for something to come in, waiting for uh, harvest. October, the Eight of Pentacles, apprenticeship, working on many projects. We have the Ten of Pentacles, and I feel like that many of your projects are going to be paying off for you. And then November, we have the Nine of Cups. This is a time of contentment. We have the Five of Swords above that. And I feel like that you have narrowed down your choices with that uh, Ace of Swords and the Nine of Cups. You're very pleased with the choices you have made and you are attuning more with, with your energy and appreciating and what the universe is delivering to each and every one of you. It's going to be different for each of you. And then we have the Nine of Wands, which is protecting your boundaries. And I feel like that this could be protecting your visions, protecting your ideas. We have the Ace of Swords here where you're very focused on what your ideas are. Don't uh, share your ideas with just anybody and work on those ideas. Let's get some clarifying tarot cards on here with the Light Seer Oracle or Light Seer Tarot deck. Okay, on the King of Swords, we have the Tower. Okay, getting back down to the basics, the roots of balance. Maybe by taking the weight of the world off your shoulders, you're simplifying things. You're coming back to the basics. Where do you shine? This is a divine intervention. This is where the universe is going to deliver you the freedom of clearing out those obstacles. On the Four of Cups, we have the Knight of Swords. Okay, the Knight of Swords is right here in the position of March. And I think you're going to get a head start on what it is that you want to do for the year of 2024 in February. And that energy, that momentum is going to carry you through to March where we have the Four of Swords, where you can reflect and recuperate some of those energies as obstacles, giving the universe an opportunity to clear the obstacles from your life. The Knights are instigators of change. On the Ten of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Swords. This is freeing yourself from your own doubts and fears. By attuning your energy with appreciation, the more the universe will deliver. And by setting yourself free of your own doubts and fears, which you are reflecting upon 
here with the Four of Swords. And even though it's on the Knight of Swords, it's helping to clear those mental obstacles out of your life, those fears, so that you can prosper with the Ten of Pentacles. On the Five of Swords, we have the Three of Wands. Sometimes you just got to wait out um, those power struggles. And we do have the Three of Wands right here as well. So I think that this is kind of some foresight. And then we have uh, Death, Rebirth on the Ace of Swords. I feel like you're taking an old idea and recreating it, creating a new vision. Next, we have judgment again. Judgment's right here. We have judgment on the Queen of Pentacles. And to me, I see this as a rebirth because we have death and rebirth here. And judgment is the resurrection of your spirit, of your ideas. And they are going to be successful. On the judgment card, we have the Three of Pentacles. You find the right people to work with. This is the dream team where things are beginning to fall into place. This is a diverse group. Everybody can come together with their unique talents. And each of you can create your own vision. Working together, you're not carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. You can share those tasks with other people who enjoy doing those things. Or maybe they're just really good at it and you're not, but you're coming together with your energies and that's where the universe will deliver through appreciation of the diversity. And people are going to appreciate your diversity your eccentric creative energies we have the wheel on the three of wands things are turning things are shifting and then we have the ten of cups on the eight of pentacles this is blissful you are doing what you love to do and it's going to shift your world in a positive way. You're following your bliss. On the Nine of Cups, we have the world. Recognition for your unique gifts, for your creativity, following your bliss. This is what the world needs, is you to tap into your creative energies what it is that you want to bring into the world rather than carrying the world on your shoulders you focus on what you love to do and that's going to move everything in place and then we have the nine of wands on the nine of wands where you're going to i i just heard you need space where you're not going to be disturbed so you can remain focused. We have the Ace of Swords there with the death and rebirth. And I feel like that uh, some of you feel like if I could just get some peace, a little bit of time where I'm not disturbed and I can focus on my creativity, on my project, you can get a great deal accomplished. And, um, okay, I'm going to end the reading here. This was a beautiful reading for the collective for 2024. I do hope that some of these messages resonated with you and will give you guidance for the new year that is coming. It is full of beautiful things. We are letting go. We are shedding those things that no longer serve us to rebalance and move forward with healing, letting go of fear, 
planting new seeds for the future, um, fertilizing, because with death there's rebirth, and here we have the Queen of Pentacles with judgment, and I really love this for the July energy. This is the middle of summer, and you are being very inspired. You're getting out into your community, and there's a revival here. We have the Three of Pentacles here with the Judgment card. And I feel like that energy is carrying over and growing into August. And then by September, we are turning the wheel into uh, autumn time. And this really uh, brings up a great deal of inspiration for you. You're busy on a few different projects, possibly things that you love doing. You're going to be recognized for that energy that you're bringing into your community, bringing into the world, just simply by being you and following your bliss. And then you get the double nine of wands, protecting your boundaries, giving you protection of your space. You are protected. You are safe to be who you are. Okay, I'm going to end the reading here. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up. Com give me your comments on what you think. And like and subscribe to this channel if you want. Share this message if you think it might be helpful for someone. Until next time. Have a happy new year and may it be blessed. Take care.